I'm James and this is Ellie. This is our first visit to the Golden State, also known as California. We'll be visiting the Hollywood Walk of Fame, taking a stroll up to Griffith Park, exploring Warner Brothers Studios where Friends and the Big Bang Theory was filmed. We hiked up to the Hollywood sign, visited Venice Beach and Beverly Hills and we also soaked up the heat in Palm Springs. If we're not doing all of that, you'll find us seeking adventure or adrenaline in the parks like Disneyland, California Adventure, Hollywood Studios and Six Flags. This is our new series so don't forget to follow along and subscribe down below for our adventures. Well, Welcome to a no travel series. And welcome to the world's smallest hotel room. So we're actually here at Heathrow at the minute. We're staying at the Fissel Hotel here at Terminal 5. Terminal 5, and this is the smallest hotel room in the world. Yeah. We're going to give you a quick blitz of a hotel tour room, I think. Let's take a look at We'll show you. So, minutes. yeah, like, I'm not even kidding. Where Ellie is standing, it's quite like, oh my God, where she is. So, <laughs> here you have the room. As you can imagine, you can fit about five people in here all of a sudden. All of a, very comfortable so it's i mean it's a small double isn't it but it's a very comfy bed so that's good Just yeah in the hair. i'm not going to get lost in that bed tonight because it's not the queen size like the other yeah. travel series with um oh no oh look at that that's disgusting oh. Oh oh. <laughs> right this is where you buy the old uh what's the, what's the spray called disinfectant oh. spray yeah, we, we check. That kind of looks okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we are very particular with hairs and stuff in beds at the minute. Um, you just got to, you know, we've got to bring a disinfectant spray. So we're a little bit on edge a little bit. As you come in the door, you've got the world's smallest hallway. And then you have a deep bar from here. I mean, smallest bathroom. yeah, it is very, very small. I'm a big lad. <laughs> There's not a lot of room in here. So. We're here at Heathrow anyway. This is, oh, so you're probably thinking from the title of this video, it's our pre-travel day and our travel day and we're doing it into one for you all. Our pre-travel day, we're just gonna, we're, the reason why we picked this hotel is they have a bar outside and you're at the end of the runway so you can see the planes taking off, they switch them now and then. So that's why we're here. And some of you might have questions, probably thinking we would have gone to Maldives. If you don't follow us on Instagram, you wouldn't have known, but we'll tell you probably just a little bit about that tonight, won't we? Yeah, we're not going to the Maldives. That's it. Yeah, we're going to California. I can't fucking wait. Um, so what we're going to do is, we're just going to chill for a bit. We're going to go out, get some dinner later on, and then they've got a bar area. We're just going to sit out there and have a nice drink and chill for a bit. So we said to you we we're going to go to the runway bar earlier. This is it. This is, I think, Terminal 3, just in front of us here. Three? I think, well, Five. BA short all. And obviously you can see the apron over there. All the planes are taking off down this way so yeah this is a restaurant so this is the hotel restaurant don't even know if we can be here or not but of course you can yeah it's a bar and whatnot first impressions of the hotel by the way um uh, so when you first arrive it's a bit of a dive um so we arrived at terminal five uh we parked at long state terminal five parking and then got the yeah. like the free bus over to terminal five and then there's this really cool thing it's called pod Pods? Heathrow pods. Heathrow pods. Yeah, we'll show you in the morning yeah. when we start a travel day. They are awesome. It's six pound each when you arrive from the hotel. And mm. we, we have a little tip for you as well. If you're staying here at the Thistle, <laughs> if you come in from Terminal Five, five. to here, you can get on a pod. You don't pay anything at the station or anything. And then when you get to the reception, just say you've been dropped off by a taxi <laughs> at the back because we've got pod parking, and you can save six pound each. But I was stupid enough. The sat nav took me the wrong way, and I went through the Heathrow drop off. So I actually need to pay five pound charge for going through 20 seconds earlier i'm really oh, i'm just annoyed about it but i guess 12 pound minus five i save seven quid yeah i'm so annoyed about that but, um, but yeah the pods are really really cool actually but yeah when you first arrive at the hotel you think where am i yeah the reception area is quite nice actually but when you get into the oh. hallways it gets dangerous it's like um it's like a motel charlie and the chocolate factory where the hallways start big and you walk further down it gets shorter and shorter kind of it's yeah. like what our rooms are like anyway the room's, room's clean it's small it's clean it'll do us for a night it's nothing special yeah um, and we've locked but everything. yeah the outside of the hotel you look at it and you think oh my god where am i yeah exactly i mean look at the look at the facade behind us it's not that great yeah the facade's not that great so we're just sitting out here just gonna view some planes for a little bit probably get some footage of planes later on this evening when it went a little bit nicer go get something to eat later it's only three o'clock it is friday the eighth today so we fly on the 9th 9 45 to los angeles which we can't we haven't slept last night like the last few with ba they had this thing that ellie was like ellie looked and like you can change your holiday for free 28 days out and we're well, 35 depending on when you booked your holiday 
So obviously yeah. we booked this quite a while ago. Yeah, so we booked um, we booked our holiday to the Maldives quite some time ago. Um, when did we book it? Like a year ago? Yeah, at least a year ago. Um, and BA, when, depending on when you booked it because of the whole COVID thing and the restrictions, they were allowing certain people to be able to change it, weren't they? So. Yeah, we depending on when you booked it, yeah. weren't it? There were certain conditions and stuff, and we were outside the 28 day window and we called up. We're like, I wonder if you can change it. We're like, yeah, no problems. We booked this holiday from LA to the Maldives and got £1,500 back. And that £1,500 paid for all our park tickets and Parking, everything. Um, no, car hire. We've got car hire for the full time that we're there. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're just doing That's loads it. of different stuff. So, although we're going to miss the Maldives, we absolutely love the Maldives. It's I'm looking forward the to a change and I'm really looking forward to doing something different. Maldives was nice during yeah. the pandemic, but now... No, I mean, it's still lovely. Like, don't get me wrong, I want to go back to the Maldives one day, but we just fancied something a bit different. We fancied a bit of adventure, didn't we? Yeah, and uh, I freaking, I can't wait. I like the five-year-old at Christmas. No, he's taking off late. Shit. I don't know if you can see that. Them guys at the end there, the Simon Calder. The travel man. Yeah. been probably a couple of hours we've had our dinner obviously not anything special now we've got shandy each just in, sitting yeah, here enjoy the sun yeah and just yeah watch the planes before watch we the planes yeah we're gonna try and get a bit of an earlier night tonight aren't we yeah gotta be up at 3 15 in the morning go to the airport at four uh, we like going in the airport hours before we're due to go sit here and chill now and if you don't hear from us later we'll see you in the morning for our travel day yeah, it's a travel day. Yeah. Woohoo! We didn't sleep. No, we'll tell you about that when we're on a pod, but we're just outside a hotel. When I said it looks like a prison, it kind of. <laughs> you're going to see it now anyway. Um, this is the back entrance. This is not the main entrance. The front entrance, obviously, just opposite this side. But this is the car park. And I know I it's a little bit dark. Yeah. I don't think you can appreciate like the, like, the, the facade of it. It's. Not my cup of tea. Mm. <laughs> oh, and the tiny rooms last night. Uh, could have done with double the size. But anyway, we're off to get the pods, which we're going to show you. Such a cool way to get in to the airport. Sorry, the lighting's really bad. That's why I'm moving around. It's a really cool way to get in the airport. So we're going to head that way. We've got been given our code from reception for buying it. And uh, we'll get over. This is the pod station we're going to. Do you want to go? You just touch me You're going to Terminal 5. Is that it? Your pod will be here soon. There we go. Is it easy as that? Yeah. It's so easy Isn't it? Proper easy. It's £6 really, each. It's really efficient as well. One's coming out. So this is how you get to Heathrow. These are all electric. No fuel they use for any of these. And this is how we're going to get over to Terminal 5. We, we did go on these yesterday. We just didn't film and show you. They're so cool. It's a very good, it is good. I was reading yesterday, it takes um, over 70,000 buses at Heathrow off the road each year. It's cool, um, it? Yeah. And what they're doing, because we can't get in that one, that's charging at the minute, so that's out of use. Here's our little bubba. One thing yesterday, no ventilation at all. But, because uh, it's fresh this morning, I don't think we're going to have that issue. So you press this, and then it should get going. Then we have to press the start button. Oh, it's like a little ride. Press start. There we go. Sorted. One thing, it smells like jet fuel in here. No, I don't think so. Not think. No, do you think? Mm, it's I don't. Wait a minute. Excuse me. It is Saturday the 9th of July and it's five past four in the morning. We're going, our flight's at 9.45 this morning. We like going through at the airport early. We're not doing it because of the whole chaos at Heathrow or anything. Um, what's been going around at Gatwick. We're just geeks. We just love it, don't we? We're just geeks, yeah, and we just love being at the airport. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't recommend the, well, the only thing I'd recommend the Fistle for is if you want to do the runway bar. But apart from that, like the sleeping, 
there was like kids running up and down the hallway at like 11, 12. Oh uh, yeah, night. I could have freaking laid down and out of bed outside that freaking door last night. I would love to I see them. I keep my cool, I'm telling you now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean the bed was comfy-ish. I um, didn't find it comfy. We was right outside, it's like a main doorway in the hall. Next time someone opened it, it's standing onto our wall, which was yeah. lovely. Do you know, there was no, like you could hear the aircraft noise, couldn't you? Oh yeah, yeah. Like when we stayed at the Sheraton, was it Sheraton Skyline? Yeah. When we stayed at the Sheraton Skyline last December, the rooms were soundproofed and you couldn't hear the planes unless you actually opened like the first set of windows, which was lovely because you couldn't hear anything, but yeah. no, you could hear everything. So if you're a really light sleeper, I probably wouldn't recommend this hotel. Here we are. Here, we're at Terminal 5. If you're coming from Terminal 5, you come out of Revivals Hall and you just come to the business parking area and this is where all the pods are, you don't pay here you actually pay your fee to the Thistle Hotel I'll tell you what, it's a really cool way to get around Heathrow if it's a hot day, like it's going to be in England at the minute when we're away, if it's 30 degrees, you are going to roast but, I mean, these are, there, there's one going, it's super cute and we absolutely love it and now we get to go check in and I don't think it's going to be busy so we're going to be alright so I don't think it's going to be busy, so I think we're going to be all right. Oh, so the airport is not as busy as we've seen in the papers, like Gatwick, four in the morning. Queues have been trailing out the door or anything. It's quite normal. We're here so early. I'll show you what the <laughs> what is going on. Um, we've checked in for our flight. As you can see there, right at the bottom of the middle one, just there. We can't drop our bags till 6.45 and it is only 25 past four now. So we've got an hour and 20 minutes to kill bit of a bummer yeah it's, it's very strange because whenever we've traveled before you could always just i don't know if they're doing it to like manage the crowd or people or whatever but yeah you can't drop off till three hours before which yeah. is a little bit annoying i could have had an extra hour in bed but hey diddly ho the beds weren't that comfortable i don't think i would have slept well i was fast asleep yeah before Some, my alarm enough well yeah wackle and everything but now coffee and heroes and then we're going to catch you through security in just a few hours. About two hours. Here we are in Giraffe Hall Kitchen. This is Terminal 5, which is down there. You've got some more shops and everything. This is the north side security, just over there, which is a pain in the ass. We come from just over there. We're here for breakfast. So first of all, menu for like drinks and stuff and what. I'm having a passion shoot smoothie and Ellie's having that. And then for brekkie, we're both having the same thing of smashed avocado on toast. Our smoothies have changed, they didn't have the ones we want, so I've gone for a brekkie smoothie. I don't know what you've gone for. I've got a pomegranate iced tea. Yeah, oh, uh, security here is a bit of a shit shambles. Yeah, when we were in queue, they were just like, yeah, come in, take your order, and we're like, oh, no, we're not having that. Yeah, they're like, we're not having that. Yeah, 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 we now we're through and it's we're currently ordering at 10 to 8. Our gate info comes up in 40 minutes. We haven't really got a lot of looking around shops and everything, but there's security that they are short staffed at security here. I think it's just a bit mental, but we'll show you through when it comes out. And hopefully it's nice. I'm like salivating here in the corner a little bit. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten since three in the morning. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. I've with Lumi. Mmm. They're very nice. Really good, yeah. And then that's Ellie's passion fruit. And this is my... It's That's not passion fruit. What, what is it called then? Pomegranate. Pomegranate, Iced right. Tea. Yeah, and then I've got gluten-free oats, raspberry berries and something else. You would have seen the menu earlier. This my smashed avocado and poached eggs. And I'll just run the tight ship because we've got half an hour until we eat.
food now anyway. It's always going to be like a different room. It's always going to be something nice. We've got fucking fries and beans or something. So, yeah, it's what we've got. You haven't opened that yet, have you? So we've made it to LA. This is LAX. Oh look, I just found mine. Yours is just there as well. Bub, just there. Just gonna say, at least you can know when your suitcase is there. You can see we use the Apple AirTags. We've obviously found them because they're right just here anyway. Yeah, so it took an hour and a half to get through customs here. Yeah. Just over an hour and a half actually, so it wasn't too bad. We met a lovely man in Cuba, didn't we? Yeah, we're talking the whole hour and a half. It's well travelled, comes in here and work and stuff like that, isn't it? And, uh, and now we have to go out of the airport. Gotta go collect our rental car key from however the way you get out of here. And I don't know whether we get to choose an air, uh, a car like you do in Orlando, but we okay. shall see. We've got picked up a car from the, um, what's it, airport, driven down the road. It's a little bit sketchy because we're just getting used to it. We're here at Randy's Donuts. Yeah, and so we watched um, a lady called Funfetti Adventure Sam and she, we watched her LA vlogs in the first place that she stopped when yeah. she arrived was Randy Donuts and yeah. apparently they're famous like here and just going to try the donuts and our car is just that one there that we picked up from the airport and we've just driven it a mile and a half down the road and there's little Ellie get out of the way before we get flattened and we'll show you the car when we get back to when we get to the hotel which is about 20 30 miles away so we've got our donuts i've gone for the roasted <laughs> coconut raised donut and james has gone for the oreo raised oreo yeah they look yeah. quite thick but they um so big just... i've never seen a donut so big before let me show you mine oh, oh i'll tell you what there's the smell of the donut is so bloody try it oh ow is that nice yeah I can't believe Randy's bought one each from here. Yeah, I mean, I'll get that. mine out and show you, but I'm not going to keep it in there because it's got coconut on it. That's mine. Look at the size of it. I've never seen anything like it. It's a matter with a football on his head there. Mm. So, is that really nice? That is probably oh. the best donut I've ever tried. It is, isn't it? We're, wow. we're probably going to have to come back and get some more donuts oh, another definitely. time. What we're going to do is eat this, go to the hotel, probably show you a bit of the car when we get there and everything and then give you a quick room tour no hotel stuff if you watch the channel before we're not going to do any of that stuff on this trip so oh this is too good to miss but um we'll catch up when we get to the hotel we've made it yeah we're in so if, if anyone's wondering where we're staying we're staying at a holiday inn near buena park it's quite easy to get to it weren't that bad the car we got was not that bad and the hotel's quite nice actually we looked yeah. up online before we come we're like oh shit, is it going to be fine but anyway we'll show you so there's nothing like much around here you've got a luggage rack which would be good for one of our suitcases and then you've got the bathroom in here which which is actually really nice it's a standard bathroom massive Weird shower head. I don't know why Americans have shower heads like that. I'm With not too the sure. Weirdest, smallest, weirdest baths in America. Yeah. You've got full cent full length mirror. Yep. And then we have the the. Oh, this is our tired well. We've been up 22 hours at this point, and it is 20 to 6 LA time, so it'll be 20 to 2 in the morning. <laughs> and we got up at 3:15 this morning on this travel day to get here, so we are a bit. So massive, massive bed. Oh, it looks really nice. nice it, lay on it. Lay on it. It's comfy. Really comfortable. Oh. It's like laying on a cloud. It's it? so nice. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get up. <laughs> <laughs> Got all this. Don't know how you work the aircon unit. Little um, living area. Desk. 
and then this lovely mirror. Yeah. Yeah, so and and we've got TV. Going... Oh, actually, as well, if anyone wants to know, I thought it was just going to be like a little mini fridge, but it's a full on size. I haven't fridge. actually seen the size it's of massive. this fridge. Oh. We'll be able to get all our yes. drinks and stuff in there and breakfast. Wait till we go to Target and we can buy like Fanta Strawberry. Fanta Mango. Yeah, if they do it, because we've had it in a vending machine in Florida in 2019. Also, it's nice to be back in the States. Like, it is, we love it. So, we're just going to get ready now, and we are going to do some shopping in Target. Got to get some food and stuff anyway for breakfast and water bowl. Yeah. I don't know what the water's like, but those of you who've been in Florida and you drink water, it's like drinking ass water. It's not very nice. Tastes like ass. What? I don't know what ass tastes like, but that's what I would imagine ass tastes like. Yeah, and then we've got to find somewhere for dinner tonight as well. Mm. So we'll, we'll see you probably in the shops in a oh, bit. One thing oh. about this hotel is you actually get free parking as well. So if oh, you hire a car... That's one of the reasons why we chose it. Yeah, that's, that's well. one of the main reasons why we chose this hotel, because a lot of other hotels charge... How much, James? It's like 20 to 30 bucks a night. Yeah, so a lot of the other hotels around here um, and around LA charge between sort of 20 and 30 dollars per day for parking. So yeah, this one was a bonus really because you don't have to pay for parking. So yeah, we're in. Look where we've just come in. I've been dreaming about Target for weeks and we're finally here. Yeah, so now we can shop till we drop. And here we find Ellie in her natural habitat, going shopping and me crashing into uh, random cave in Isles, completely at home in a natural habitat. <laughs> oh my god, it's day it's, one and I want to buy everything. What's wrong with me? It's not wrong with that. And this, li this store is literally around it's the corner a, from us. And it's a big one as well, so I'm really pleased. We are going to be here more than once. Quite possibly more than once. Yeah. Maybe every other Definitely day. more than once. All right, we're in the men's bits, even I'm after some shorts. Doing, we're coming here, we're coming tomorrow shopping. We've got a few things planned. We're going to tell you quickly about them, probably a little bit later. But yeah. we, we're going to come back here tomorrow, do some clothes shopping. We're just having a little gauge of I stuff think, around I at the minute. I think we're so overtired as well. I don't want to just buy stuff. I want to be able to like, take my time, try it on. I yeah. don't want to buy stuff and then think, what the f did I buy that for? Yeah, I love, I lo I love the shops in love America and that. Oh, there's just so much stuff to look around here. We'll show you when we get to like the confection now. Oh yeah, all the good. American sweets that you can't get back in the UK because we just don't get anything good back at home. For those of you at home, we're just giving you like an appreciation shot of all the snacks you can get here in the States. We're after some Oreos and stuff, snacks at the minute. They have everything. Pringles, that's a bit confusing. Cheddar sour and cream blue and then salt and vinegar and blue, which is a bit random. And just all the different These crisps the or chips if These you're are American. The best. Cinders, pretzel pieces, honey and mustard. Are they? So good. They're so, oh, you'd like them now. Would I? Yeah, now you'd like them. some of your mum. Yeah, so we're like, this is all the chip aisle. Just there's so much stuff here. It's like making a bellies. We haven't had a proper meal yet, so just look at it all. So much to choose from here that we don't get back at home. Oh, tostitos. So not fair. Oh, oh tostitos. Oh, tostitos. Taco, taco, perito, perito. Not only that. Oh, found the oil we oh. want. Look. I mean, Target for for American candy is probably not the best. You need to go to a Walmart properly. I'm going to try the um, carrot cake ones. Oh, carrot cake? Oh, no, it's, I mean, you need to go to like a Walmart for that. Yeah, I think so. We can so. just get a normal. Oh, there's more breakfast biscuits here. They do wheat fins or something. Are they breakfast? Are they stuff you have for breakfast? Probably not. More like crackers and stuff, man. I don't know. Crackers, Yeah, they're crackers, cheez -its, cheez its gold puffs. More sweets, more sweets, and more sweets. So we've just grabbed ourselves the last peach ones up here. I'll show you in a sec. All this good juice. This is what we like before when we come. Simply peach. And then, I don't know why, pop tarts are always good for a kind of snack when you're out and about and everything. Just as like a little snack. And bought this trail mix. It's got some like chocolate M&Ms and stuff in that we're going to have. And then we're probably just going to get yogurts we think we've decided yes, for they now. They might do decaf cold brew. Do they not? No, which I really would, would have been oh. nice for the mornings, wouldn't it? Because we had that before, do you remember? Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, and they do these. I mean, for, for those of you who haven't been, to America, obviously you can get all these coffees and stuff, which Cold are really bridge, nice. Yeah. Well, after yogurts, if you can see that. Yeah, these are really good. We had these before. And they've got all these different flavours. They've got schmores, key lime, almond cocoa loco, cookies and cream, strawberry, Greek yogurt, 
black cherry peach. Yeah, these are good. These are a good shout if you've got a, a fridge in your and room. And good thing if we don't have a spoon, at least we can get the tin form and just eat them that way. Yeah, scabs aren't we? No, no. We've come to we've come here to get dinner and we've come to Blaze Pizza and you see my glorious little margarita pizza that I have and proper Fanta that we don't get at home, like the proper orangey stuff, not the crap stuff we get in the UK. And then I've got um very strange, I know, pineapple and pepper. So yeah. we'll see how that is. Yeah, so we're gonna eat this. This is our dinner tonight, just because we haven't eaten and we've we've been up for physically over 24 hours or so, it's half three back at home and it's half seven here. So we shall have a minute. Firstly, um. we've just got to apologise for all the mismatchy stuff that's going on in a minute because we, we've been up nearly 25 hours now. It's nearly quarter past eight, so it's been nearly like an hour since we last gone. Yeah, you would have seen that we were in Blaze Pizza. That was really nice, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah we stopped at Starbucks. You can tell we're getting tired now. We, we're collecting Starbucks mugs, so we've got... Um, you are here, Lo Los Angeles, you are here. And then... Which is really cool. Got the California one. Yeah, and then we're going to be cool. collecting the Disneyland California Adventure one, Disneyland Universal, and I think Disney are doing some of the Star Wars ones at the yeah, minute. Yeah, so we're going to go. We're gonna, we'll check those out when we're there. Yeah. So we bought our shopping as well, which you actually saw probably what we got, but we did buy some sugar cookies because everyone else <laughs> buys them. I have never had sugar cookies. They're sugar cookies. Yeah, they're they sugar cookies. I've never had sugar cookies, and I've been to I've been to Florida three times. Never had them. You've had them before, haven't you? We watch so many people's vlogs. And uh, they've got these blue and pink ones. So we thought we'd give them a go. They were like nearly seven bucks. Quite expensive they? really for cookies. Yeah, but they're like Costco ones, isn't they? With it's shortbread with just a bit of glazed icing on it. So we've got so, yeah. them. So we've like got other bits. Water. Yogurts. We bought some plastic spoons and we bought some cups because they do, you know a lot of the red cups you see in American parties and stuff, it was like seven bucks for 30 and these were like 25 cents each. Well these tumblers probably just take home with us. Yeah. So we just give them a rinse, have our drink with our juice. If you're new here and you haven't followed us, follow us on Instagram because we're putting these stories up every week so if you're new and you're following us from this video you'd still be able to catch all the other stories from all the other weeks of all the videos coming up. So we're going to tell you about all the things we can do. We, we are doing Disneyland while we're here. We're doing Universal. Yeah. So we're doing two days of Disney, two days Universal. Day at Six Flags. Yeah. However, um, next week's video that you're going to see, we are doing, we're going to be doing some shopping, Hollywood Walk of Fame and the Griffith Observatory. So stick around for that. If you're new, hit the subscribe button down below and give it a thumbs up for And us. we're doing other, other cool stuff as well while we're here. So we're yeah. doing like the Warner Brothers Studios tour. We're doing Palm Springs, Malibu, Santa Monica, all of that. So Venice Beach. Yeah, if you're interested in that, yeah. stick around because we've got lots and lots of vlogs coming up. Yep, exactly. What not more of a reason to subscribe. And on that note, we shall see you next week for the next video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week. And we'll week. see you soon. Bye. Ciao.